Martin, Social Dialogue and Transnational Industrialization in the EU. What can you tell us more about it? Yeah, um, I thought it would be interesting to talk about a topic um, which the European Union approaches quite uniquely and this is the way of how to involving social partners uh, within the decision-making processes. And this is what we call social dialogue, which is um, involving the unions and the employers' organizations within the processes to actually develop policies and also even develop law. Um, there's a possibility within uh, the European Union for the social partners to come to a, what they call negotiated agreements. And this then can get passed by the council and actually become law without even involving the parliament, which is quite a unique process. But it's in a way collective bargaining, uh, which then would cover uh, all European states and would be, have to be transposed into national law. That's one of the unique approaches I want to talk about. And the other one is um, the industrial relations framework at the enterprise level which would be the introduction of the European Works Council, which is a statutory representative organization of the uh, workers. Um, and uh, enterprises working transnationally within the European Union, which is also a very unique approach uh, by this encouraging the dialogue between management and the workers.